Ballyclare District Historical Memorial Association Buck Alec and Ulster Hartman Alexander Robinson, also known as Buck Alec, was born in York Street in the Sailor Town area of Belfast in 1901. Alec's early life in the docks was indicative of his future problems with the law. Glasgow had the Billy Boys, London had the Craze, Chicago had Al Capone, and Belfast had Buck Alec. Alec was a colourful character who stood out from the crowd and gained notoriety in Northern Ireland for being a Belfast hard man, a street fighter with a reputation for having no fear alongside his contemporaries James Stormy Weatherall and Patrick Silver McKee. He was also a boxer, wrestler and a line tamer who kept three lines in his backyard. On the 1st of November 1920, after calls from Unionists for protection, the government formed the Ulster Special Constabulary. This mainly consisted of Ulster volunteers and former soldiers of the 36th Ulster Division who had served in World War I. This would help reinforce the Royal Irish Constabulary, who along with the Black and Tans were fighting the Irish Republican Army in the Irish War of Independence. Alec went on to join the Ulster Special Constabulary and was famously a bodyguard to Sir Edward Carson. He had served in the British Merchant Navy during the First World War and was recruited to the A Specials as part of a special assignments unit, some of which included eliminating particular targets. In 1922, representing the Ulster Special Constabulary, he won his first amateur boxing match at the King's Hall. And in 1927, he went on to win the Irish Middleweight Championship. Alec left the Ulster Special Constabulary at the end of the Anglo-Irish War and Partition in 1922. An RUC commissioner recommended his internment in October 1922 after he was implicated in several bombings and shootings. He was released in 1923 and shipped to America where it is said he was a member of Al Capone's crew working as a bootlegger and a bodyguard during Prohibition. These activities brought Buck Alec to the attention of FBI Director G. Edgar Hoover, who had him deported back to Belfast in the early 1930s. Alexander Robinson continued to live in North Belfast until his death in 1995 at the age of 93. No matter what you believe about Buck Alec, he did not hate Catholics. His heart was in the right place. He believed in a fair fight and he was no thug. His funeral saw members from both Catholic and Protestant communities come together to celebrate his life. Martin Lynch and Gusty Spence also attended his funeral, alongside Ian Paisley who carried the coffin and described Alec as a rare character, a typical Ulster man, an interesting face of Ulster's history. If you're enjoying our channel, please let us know by clicking on the like, share and subscribe icons below. And thank you for your continued support.